Hi, glad you could drop by, and I hope you're having a great photography day. I'm Ray Scott, and this is Visual Art Photography Tutorials. Today on Neighborhood Photographer, we're going to take a subject that is much maligned in these parts, uh, something that a lot of people have no time for, and we're going to take that subject, and what we're going to attempt to do is create and then capture a special moment in time, and if we can do that properly, we may come up with something that is worthy of hanging on the wall. So we're going to be photographing the dreaded dandelion today. And before we get started, a few pieces of equipment that might come in handy for you uh, as you get into this project. One, a tripod, kind of essential for this particular uh, photo uh, assignment. Uh, I'm using, for this one, I'm, I chose to use a tabletop tripod. You can use a standard one. It just depends on what your preference is, but I use this and it really was very effective. So just a little tabletop tripod or a standard tripod. Also, a blower can come in really, really handy for this. Now, I'm going to show you later on that you don't have to use this. Uh, you can just actually use your breath, you know, just blow on the, on the dandelion, but this is kind of convenient too. So this is the system that I'm using today. Also a cable release for your camera that could come in really handy as well, although not essential. But these things will really help your project uh, go a little more smoothly because it's kind of uh, kind of difficult. It's going to take a little time to do it. Let's get started. All right. So this is your first basic beginning shot. The technical issue here is depth of field. I was shooting at ISO 200. My lens was set to 50 millimeters. Of course, that's arbitrary depending on taste. And the aperture was set at f5.6. Now, if I had set the aperture to a greater depth of field, say f11 or f16, then this background would have been uh, too much in focus for my taste. I wanted it to be out of focus. But here's the rub. If I had set my aperture even less, let's say to f4 or f 2.8 or something like that, then I wouldn't have had any play with what's going to be happening uh, as the seeds are released from this dandelion. In other words, I, I wanted a little bit of depth of field so that some of the seeds could stay in focus, but I didn't want too much because I didn't want the background to be sharp. So it was, it was a trade-off. So f5.6 is what I had it set at. Okay, here's the shot. Now let's take a look at the setup. Now if you have a friend, the friend can be positioned right in front uh, to the side actually, of the dandelion and blow on it for you or you could put yourself there and use a cable release for me I used the blower okay you can see it here and I've got my camera set to many frames per second and I'm just firing away and hoping to capture something that I can use okay now that we've seen what the setup is like let's take a look at what we got as the blower was used a few seeds were released. Not bad, but not enough uh, for me. But you have to be really, really patient uh, with this. Here, just uh, one or two get released. And we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. But again, patience is a virtue here because this is not going to be easy. And, and if there's a breeze going and the, the plant, the dandelion's going in and out of focus and moving back and forth, it can be very frustrating. So you have to be really patient. The next shot, a little bit better. Now, the problem here was that while this seed I was happy with, these ones were just a little bit too out of focus for me. That's just not quite what I wanted. So we tried one more time and I got what I wanted. Look at that. Okay, so you have uh, your dandelion in, nicely in focus here. Let's take a look at this, by the way. Um, look, you can just see everything in there really, really nicely. Okay, and these aren't bad. This one up here is nicely in focus, and these ones are a little out of focus, but that's okay because you're, uh, you're looking for some motion. Look at the difference here. This is the first shot, static, and then the last one. Oh, it just it adds a liveliness and a brightness uh, and a lightness to the whole thing. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, perhaps, or with a completely different feel, you can go uh, black and white. All right, but you get the idea. You're creating and then capturing a special moment. So there you have it. A subject that people are constantly digging up and trying to get rid of, and we can turn it into something 
that is a little bit more artistic, and certainly you can see the beauty in it. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.